all praise and honor to Jesus Christ, the Lord. Before I begin with my sharing for today, if you notice the picture in my background, from now on, I'm going to start sharing the pictures that I take along the way. This one is near Cerrillos, and I have a, yeah, it was a beautiful day, and I love clouds. So I took this picture of clouds. I hope you don't mind that I'm going to be kind of in the heaven today as I share with you. In any event, <clears throat> do you want to be delivered from death and be safe in spite of famine or whatever may happen in this world? That is the promise of the Lord for you. If you have what is many times misunderstood, that is if you have the fear of the Lord or the fear of God, however way you want to say it. What is the fear of the Lord? The fear of the Lord does not mean that I am afraid of God as if he were an evil tyrant ready to smack me if I make a mistake. That is a caricature of God, of fear, and also of sin. The fear of the Lord is rather something really wonderful. Scripture calls it the first stage of wisdom. Why? Because the fear of the Lord makes us realize two fundamental truths, that God is God and that we are not God. In Psalm 100, scripture tells us, acknowledge that God is God. He made us and we are his. And that is what we do if we have fear of the Lord. We acknowledge that God is God and that we belong to him. We also obey him, not because we are afraid of him, but because we are aware of his majesty and of his glory. We give him thanks and praise because we acknowledge that every good thing comes from him, that we depend on him, and that indeed we are the sheep of his pasture. And it is good for us to acknowledge what we are and whose we are before the Lord and also before the world. It is good for us to walk humbly before the Lord. Without this fundamental attitude of humility, we cannot be good and we cannot be wise. Without the fear of the Lord, we cannot lead a life of peace and goodness, a life that is pleasing to God. Without the fear of the Lord, we will not be living in the truth and we will become slaves of our own conceit and selfishness. There is no other way to begin our pursuit of wisdom. We need to fear the Lord, and we need also to trust in his goodness. We will not be disappointed. Jesus, I trust in you. <laughs> 